Okay, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode, well, not another episode, welcome to my first video for, um, Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Um, I was gonna try to read this right quick. Um, for as long as you can remember, legends have told about a de delicate, oh, something mansion upon a hill that casts a blanket of darkness over the town. The history of this house itself is virtually unknown, and even the town's oldest residents cannot remember the mansion's origins. Being an avid history enthusiast, you embark up the mountain to visit the manor, hoping to shed some light on the backstory of this crumbling fortress of darkness. So, I don't really know much about this game. I've seen that it's really popular right now, so I got kind of interested and felt like I should play it. Honestly, I really do not know what to expect from this game. So far, it's not seeming like it's going to be all that. Scary. Uh, new game. Okay, WSD and arrow keys. Look is mouse. And activate is enter in space. Hello, I am Spooky. Hey! You're cute. What's up, Spooks? And this is my home. Cool. Can you, humble player, make it through a thousand rooms? Can you find what lies at the end? Or is there even Because I, I don't really know. Anyway, just, just go. Wow, you were helpful, weren't you? Okay. Great to be playing this game in the middle of the night, though, eh? So far, nothing jumpy. Chairs, maybe. Purple room. No. Okay, noises. Not good with noises. Uh, she said a thousand rooms. I don't, uh, if we actually have to go through a thousand rooms, I'm not going to be a happy camper. Still nothing jumpy. Looks like prison areas. Timeout areas. Something? I don't know. I didn't know what to expect from this game coming in. Okay. That actually scared me. And I don't quite understand how that scared me. I got scared by a cute little skeleton. What the hell, man? Can't let yourself get spooked by the cute things. It's kind of pathetic on my part. More purple room. Another one? No? Another one? No? Lots of chairs. Um... Frig, that one got me too! Fuck that thing. It's gonna give me a heart attack. Okay. I'm getting all quiet just from those two little scares. Sorry about that. More purple room. I swear to God, if there, if I get scared by another cute thing, I'm gonna have to resign as a friggin' horror guy. I feel like I'm looping. Okay. Ugh. Little cute things are scaring me. This is ridiculous. So, just gonna make some comments on some of my older videos. Um, oh wait, at first this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now, I'm feeling quite parched now, and I'm getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. 
you expected this to be romantic? Anyway, so I've been doing that Creepypasta Land series. That series is almost done. I will have the final episode probably released tomorrow for you guys. Um, the Infinite Undiscovery, there's definitely going to be some more episodes coming in for that soon. Um, I'm just kind of getting delayed and put back with those for a couple days there. I had no internet, that's why there was so few uploads in the last few days, is because uh, um, my internet was down, and, you know, we just finally got that back up. So, sorry about the lack of uploads. Um, other than that, there's not too much news. Uh... Just, you know, finding some more games to play for you people, and... You're new. Didn't like the noise. I really didn't like that noise. How many rooms do we gotta go through? Before something not spooky cute happens. We have a health bar, as I could hang in there. Okay. I know something is following me, but I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I'm making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope we don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. Oh, game saved. There's save spots. I do plan on beating this game for you guys then. Don't have to do it all in one sitting. Okay. Not liking this. That's from Resident Evil, I think. Okay. More corridors. Spooky, what kind of house are you living in? If you're such a cute little ghost, you would assume this place would be, you know... Actually, I assume cute things are usually really friggin' deadly, so I was assuming something... Horrible. <laughs> Why do these corridors seem exactly alike? Oh, I can't be the only one noticing this. It looks like ink. Spouting, slashing, soaking, innards, ingesting, invoking, nailing. You're new, you're new, you're new. Going away, going away. Running, 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 running. Uh, can I fall here? Oh, those noises are me stepping. I didn't know what it was. It was kind of freaking me out. I thought I was being chased by something. Oh, you're still here! Okay. Actually, I'm, I'm really freaked out right now. Kind of terrified. How do you, does it go away? Very late. Oh, okay. Game, fuck off. Okay. I don't like this game anymore. Yeah, he's still following me. Oh, no, I think I'm okay now. Okay. Now that that fucker stopped following me. Screw you! Ink. Not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think I was drinking. It's a very romantic idea. Probably not. Fuck this game. Never would have imagined such cute things would scare me. I don't know if it's the atmosphere, the fact that it's just empty corridors left and right. Found okay, I found something today to satisfy romantic thirst. I woke today from a brief faint and found my, before me a bottle of red wine. Amazing! I'm not sure the brand or year for this no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. You're drinking a bottle of blood, you fool. 
Ah, uh, we'll go for this one. Fuck! Why does the cuteness scare me? It's locked. There's locked corridors? Not cool, bro. I'm gonna, like, break something if I could keep getting scared. I'm gonna bash my mouse against something or something. I really don't know where I'm going. A thousand rooms is what the little one said. If there's a thousand rooms, I swear to God. I don't think that was wine. You don't say. Fuck you, game. I don't know what you are, but I'm gonna keep going. Don't look behind me. Just keep moving friggin' forward. We don't want to know what that was. Spooky? Not good. I'm assuming it's that fucking embryo looking thing again. Can I be calm? I think we made it to the second checkpoint. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. I'm going to assume that you are fucked, and I am also going to be fucked. Oh, okay. Just scare the, scare the heart out of me and then drop. Okay. Spooky, your house is really starting to piss me off. Uh, fuck you, Spooky. Why would you even want to live here? Maybe your house killed you. Maybe that's why you're dead. You just got scared all the time. Frank. Why does your house go so far? How big is it? Okay. Noises. Supercomputer. Okay. Okay. Specimen one. Okay. Fatalities four. Method heart attack. Cardboard cutter figure that springs out of the walls. Okay. What's specimen two? That's that thing. I don't like that. A lot of fatalities physically tearing. A mostly semi-solid based... Spectre that frequently changes matter state. Changes matter states. Proved effective against weaker and slower subjects. Um. I haven't witnessed you. A test specimen being developed at GN Lab, Geo Labs should prove useful when released. Trials have shown it's equitably effective to average suspects. Not cool. A 14th century spirit that was contained and relocated here. Tests have yet to reveal origins, but all relevant information has been placed into testing chambers. Proved effective, but not greatly more than other spe previous specimens. Sorry. Five. A creature found inside the church of a small town. Suspects are lost after contact with the specimen. Current method of killing is unknown. Proved extremely effective against... Um, subjects with mental issues or weak illnesses. Okay, six. Error. I'm gonna guess the other ones are error, too. Um. Okay. I was gonna say, long hallway. These footsteps are starting to get, a, get to me. Go here. You're green. Fuck a duck. Wait. 
This is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape. But really, that's not true. This place was like my escape. My escape from everything else in the world. Well, in the end, my death is kind of romantic. Yeah, screw you, game. Screw you. Yeah, not gonna go in there and look at that. I think that's one of the things that can kill me. Best to probably leave it alone. Why did I choose to play a horror game at night? Locked. I am obviously not the smartest. Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I took Spock. Oh, I told Spock we need more funds for sedatives, but she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. Without more chemicals to keep these things docile, I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely. Oh, crap. I'm in a room full of these things. Next door. Locked. Okay, can, um... I'm in room 120. Oh, this is still room 120. Can we leave? Please? Can't go... Can't, we can't go back. Must be a key in that room. Oh, boy. This. Oh. Picked up a key card. This is gonna be where I die. I believe Subject 5 is loose. The glass around its container is shattered, and I can faintly hear clicking from the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. If it is out and alive, then this is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. Generic lab is just. Clicking. Clicking. There's holes in the roof. This is not safe. Not safe. Not c cool game. Anything but, actually. Oh, I took the right path. I can hear it. Fuck you! Why is this game starting? Terrify me, I get hit. What hit me? Must have been the hole in the roof. I was right. Something in that roof is gonna kill me. Spooky. I don't like this house anymore. I don't like this game anymore. Come on. Okay. Let's keep moving. Fuck you. What the... I must sound really friggin' spastic right now, but this game is really starting to freak me a little bit. And it really shouldn't. It's a cutesy kind of game, but... I don't know, man. 
It's just been a few things get me. Creepy pasta land. We all witnessed that that can freak me out. Okay. Don't know what that was about. Come on, five more. Oh, come on, baby. We got one more room. We can save. Oh, we made it. And guys, actually, I'm going to end the video here for today. I hope you are enjoying Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Because frankly, I'm not enjoying it that much. I like the game and stuff, but it's going to give me a heart attack. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe as usual. Hope to see you all in the next video. Uh, take care until then.